10 points to anyone in the comments who can tell me what this is. I mean, apart from flipping deadly. And a heart, if you can tell me exactly what make and model it's from. As to what I'm going to use it for, well...
arrived to get enough of the suspension components prepped to justify a run of paint. The only thing standing in my way is a very large and very seized stud in one of the rear uprights. It carries the lower link and almost two years ago, having tried all the obvious stuff, I dropped the whole thing into a bath of diesel. Hey, it's comparatively cheap, or at least it was then, and I was thinking way ahead. So the time has come to see whether diesel has any kind of penetrating properties other than getting right up my nose. Be you. The lower link bush is seized on the stud in the middle and the stud in turn is seized in one or both sides of the upright. The upright itself has steel spring pins between the stud and the aluminium casting and it's really these that the stud has rusted to. Fine you say, have you tried tightening a nut against the spring pin to drift the stud out? Uh huh. What about locking two of the nuts together to get turning purchase? No? Impact gun? Careful force with a persuader? You see, I can't go wild here because these things are relatively delicate and are designed to work together to bear load. Do anything to give one of them excess load without the support of the other and bad things happen. Okay, it looks like I'm into cutting the lower link arm out from between the two ends of the upright and tackling the remaining ends of the stud one by one. My nerves are already in tatters. Yeah, turns out diesel isn't any great shakes when it comes to seized stuff, but then who said it was? What it did do was partially rot the rubber of the bush so that I can get a turn on the arm. This whole thing is to be continued. So the blast cabinet pattern, any guesses? It's the reason this is a super short installment I may have spent a little too long learning to draw and cut on the CNC machine. <coughs> Three days! But I needed a big complex project to properly get my head around the ins and outs of the machine. Rob at Extreme Plasma was beset by phone calls over the last week or two. Thanks Rob. Thanks too to Chris Webber, Darren Silvers, Joe Brown, Douglas Catholic Kingham, Neil B and Kenny Boyle. I'd usually say patrons get behind the scenes videos, but rolling these regular clips out has put a temporary damper on the fly in the wall stuff. But I'm putting that right, even as I speak. For patron access and support options, visit my website in the description. The price of a biscuit gets you in, the price of a posh coffee gets you stickers. That's it. I'm leaving you with my own drawing that I spent too long on before remembering one of the most beautiful patterns in the automotive world. Until next time. Thursday Eves, fortnightly, good luck. And stay stuck in. <laughs>